Ignatius487 here. Oh. And let us continue. You know those synths with the plastic faces? Ugh, they creep me the heck out. Yeah. Where are we going? You walk really slow, Scribe Halen. Walter. Okay. So now what's up? Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known sure. Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned mm -hmm. my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Mm -hmm. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Oh, I don't plan on killing dance. Not that I can tell you that here in front of all these yos, but nothing more than principle alone that's why I'm asking you not just as a member of the Brotherhood but as a human being of course him let him tell his side of the story if you want to <gasps> by what he says kitty somehow he's become truly lost to us then you do what you have to do you're so sure but you kind of I need my hand back kitty I'll hear him out just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right <laughs> thing. Such a shaggy. Hold up. No. Ow! Jeez. Dan had to identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening to Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated. Mm -hmm. And we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. No telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all. Right. Let's do this. Still Glowing. He's not. Uh, well, okay. He might be a synth. I don't know, frankly. We're gonna find out. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna kick it and have a chat with him. As uh, Eminem says, <laughs> kind of see see what he's got to say. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not going to ride that. Where is this listening post? Bravo. I've already been here. That's funny. We're just going to go. Because, you know, reasons. My charisma is super high right now. So, like... I can talk. I'll, I'll be able to talk him down. <clears throat> Should be able to, anyway. Cryo later. I love this pistol, man. This pistol is fucking broken. <laughs> That's weird. Paladin dance. Paladin dance if you want to. Thing is, if I can... Assuming I talk dance down. 
I can't take him with me to the to the Brotherhood of, of Steel. Like, I can't take him there anymore. So, unless he gives me the perk here, we gotta switch him out for somebody else. Come on, man. Dude. My lord, this thing shoots super fast. Paladin dance. Man, are you naked? Well, that's fucking weird. Let's save it. Because I don't know how this is going to go down. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Uh, you should have... What did you tell me? Because... Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So You're kind of naked, bro. Does Maxon even want me alive? <sighs> yeah, uh... How could you not know that you're a synth? It doesn't make sense to me either. It just feels like a cruel joke. But you all cut up. I'm not surprised. Kind of a beast. Suppose they programmed that all into my head. I mean, I feel like I've been in control of my entire life. Making my own decisions and determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a sin. I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. Why does any of this even matter to you? You're obviously here to carry out Maxon's orders. Does he even want me alive? Uh, don't know. But I don't know what to do. Seems obvious to me. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends. And this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only uh, Maxon. You're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to never make meant. Their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. Wow. Quick save. You're human. You're showing me. It's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's order. How do we even know you were sent though? Like sure the documentation says you are, but so I <sighs> Is there another way? Is there any way out of this? We both know that this is the right thing to do. If you refuse to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. I can't allow that to happen on my account. I am not gonna execute you. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? Yay, more saves. Um I'm not Yeah. If you want to be my lover, got to be with my friends. <laughs> Sorry. That's terrible. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Yeah. I've got you back. I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. Oh, damn. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. It's fair. Can I get Dance's power armor? Is that a thing? 
That would be neat. Well, yeah, let's go, I, I guess. Not sure what else to do, really. Cut all your silly robots. This kind of saddens me. Hmm. Well, it's one less yo, I guess. Damn it. This thing not been destroyed. He's still alive. Because you're wrong about him. Him! Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't really Maxon of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine Shit. is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. But attempting to play God. The Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the brother. Maxon, Maxon. How can you say that about You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that live hmm. in the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope. No, I get what you're saying, Maxon, but... Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Save mankind. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you make the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine... That's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I mm -hmm. saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought <laughs> I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend what? to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed mm. of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute me well. or I will not. The choice is yours. Shh. Quick save. Listen to me. I'm listening. He, uh, he saved lives. Whether he's human or not, Dan saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn man. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse, allowing Dan <laughs> undermine everything the Brotherhood stands for. Did you insist that he was <clears throat> alive? Which leaves mm -hmm. me with only a single alternative. Dance. As far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight, and your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Prydwen or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, no, you'll be fired upon immediately. 
Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. You should get some clothes, bro. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. Yeah. All right. Hey, it took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. You should stay. You know he isn't chasing you anymore. If you stay here, you should be safe. That's an excellent suggestion. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post, but it will have to do. Besides, you're still going to need my help, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back into Fridlin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. Uh, Halen. I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I can do. Sweet. You want to come with me? You heard what Maxon said. If I'm seen aboard the Fridwin, at the police station or at the airport. Not only would I be killed, I'd undermine his authority. I won't do that. Hmm. But if you need me to take the fight anywhere else, I'll be there. That's fair. Right, Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. Yeah, dude. Alright. And with that, we're out.